Hi everybody, and welcome to another lecture in 5 minutes. Today we will study about PyTest. PyTest is a testing framework for writing test code using Python. It can be combined with Selenium. We will also study about markers, which are used to add metadata to our tests, such as grouping. We will study about fixtures, which are special functions that will run before any test that we will apply to. And also we'll study about hooks, which are functions defined in ConfTest that we use to modify the behavior of our tests. So let's get started. Why do we even need PyTest? First of all, why can we just write the lines of code without using a testing framework? Let's look at an example. Let's assume that we want to open a browser, then we want to navigate to Gmail, and then we want to log in and etc. First of all, a testing framework provides us with two possible benefits. The first one is the ability to add asserts. We can add the asserts in any line of code. In this example, we're adding it in the end of the test. In that way, we give the opportunity to the test to fail or pass. If it will skip the assert, it means that the test has passed. Otherwise, it means that the test will fail and it will be reflected in our report. Another key benefit of a testing framework is the ability to integrate it within our report. So if we'll add the ability to add assertions and the integration with the reports, it can be very useful for us. Another thing very useful in PyTest is the mechanism for test discovery. Whenever you're in the test class itself, PyTest will automatically discover this test. Another key benefit is the ability to add markers, which means that we can group our tests. For instance, we can group to sanity or a full system test. And we can also give multiple groups to each test. So in this case, all of the tests are full system tests and tests one and two are also in the sanity group. That way you can choose the type of suite that you want to execute. There is another key benefit to PyTest, which is the usage of fixtures. Fixtures are special functions that we can define to write prior to our tests. In this example, we're using a fixture which is called login to Gmail. Since all of our test cases are using the login to Gmail as a precondition, we can apply it to each one of them and we don't need to rewrite the code for it. We can also integrate fixtures in several classes. It, it will be defined only in one class, but we can apply it to more. The last advantage of using PyTest that we'll discuss here today is the usage of hooks. Hooks are special functions that we can define in ConfTest. They are being automatically called prior or post to our test and sometimes even during the test. We can also add custom hooks to add special functionality to our tests. In this example, we can see that we are defining a hook to write to the report, which can occur if the test has passed or failed, or even if it has some exception during the test. Also, we can define a hook that will write to the logger. Okay, so to summarize everything, we have the test that we use by applying the annotation of pytest.test. Also, we have the markers that we can use to group those tests. Also, we have the fixtures that we can apply before the test is running. And we have the conf test that we can define there all the hooks that will run pre or post to our test and we can write to the report or the logger while using those hooks. Some of the PyTest best features are the simple syntax, it's really great for beginners, it's an open source, it has built-in support for test discovery, it's flexible, we can add our own hooks, we can create custom hooks, it has a large community support, so I do encourage you to use PyTest. If you want to see some more about PyTest, please check out our full video about PyTest. 
it's an hour long lecture that you can find it useful if you find this video and other videos useful please give us a thumbs up if it's your first time on the channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notification whenever we release a new video and until next time thank you for watching and have a good day